Munich, Germany is an incredible city that is visited by millions every year. Some come for the incredible architecture, some for the marvelous green spaces, and some for the fantastic German food and beer. Regardless of why you visit, Munich will definitely have something for you. So join us as Vucation presents the best things to do in Munich, Germany. Marienplatz Marienplatz is the central square of the city and has been since the 12th century. It's been a vital part of Old Town Munich since then and is a huge tourist attraction today. It has several features that make it such a big draw. One is the Old Town Hall, which looks like an old castle, and the Neuss Rauthaus or New Town Hall. The Neuss Rathaus is perhaps the highlight of the two, as it dominates the space with its 400-plus rooms and half a dozen courtyards. But the most famous aspect of the Marienplatz is the giant mechanical clock that houses a glockenspiel. The clock is 280 feet tall, and the glockenspiel is 28 feet tall. A few times a day, the clock has figurines emerge that reenact the medieval history of Munich. Since it's a popular attraction, it's a good idea to post up a little early before the show starts so you'll get a good spot. Finally, you should check out the Virgin Mary column, constructed in 1638 in honor of a victory over occupying Swedish forces. It's what gives Marian Plotz its name. Alta Pinakothek Art lovers will instantly fall in love with the Alta Pinakothek. It's one of the oldest galleries in Germany and one of the oldest in the world. And before you even take a look at the impressive art collection inside, you should be sure to admire the architecture of the building itself. It features neo-Renaissance architecture and ended up serving as the basis of several other prominent art galleries all over Europe, notably in Rome and Brussels. The museum was originally constructed in 1836 as a place to host the collection of the Wittelsbach dynasty, which had been growing since around the 16th century. Nowadays, it houses a huge array of paintings from the 13th to 19th centuries, around 800 in total, featuring works from masters all over Europe. Some of its most highlighted are Albrecht Dürer, Van Dyck, and Peter Paul Rubens. But there are works by da Vinci, Hieronymus Bosch, and Titian that will wow you as well. Munich Residents this extravagant property on the north side of Munich was first utilized as a castle in the 1300s for monarchs of the Wittelsbach dynasty. Over the years, the many rulers and nobles who lived here helped expand it with new additions, leaving it currently as a grand estate with 130 rooms. And since these additions took place over several centuries, the Munich residence has a lovely blend of various architecture styles, including Baroque, Renaissance, and Rococo. You could easily spend an entire day here wandering the residence, checking out the art collections inside, or strolling around the ten massive courtyards decorated with care. We recommend the Antiquarium Hall, which is full of sculptures, books, and antiques. We also love the Royal Portrait Gallery, where you can see paintings with knife marks on them. These came courtesy of people trying to quickly remove them from their frames as World War I bombings were going on. And perhaps the most gorgeous spot to check out is the Residence Theater, which, despite being destroyed in World War I, was reconstructed to its former glory. Before we tell you more about the best things to do in Munich, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Party it up during Oktoberfest Every year, 6 million people descend on Germany to celebrate Oktoberfest, and Munich is certainly one of the premier places in the country to enjoy the festivities. In 1810, Ludwig I, the Prince of Bavaria, essentially stole Napoleon's girlfriend, Theresa of Saxe-Hildburghausen. He was so impressed with himself for the feat, he ordered a five-day party to be thrown in honor of their nuptials. The locals enjoyed it so much, it became a yearly tradition. Soon, local breweries were getting involved, and in the late 1800s, they began setting up their own beer tents for the festival. Today, the tradition of beer tents continues, and there are 14 primary ones around the city, and each can accommodate between 5,000 and 10,000 people, not exactly a small, quiet gathering. German heritage and, of course, beer are celebrated throughout the festival, and you'll be able to see traditional German garb all over as you taste some of the incredible ales on tap around the city. Of course, the celebration isn't only for drinkers. There's a ton of great food on offer, as well as games, rides, and more. Just be ready for some large and generally happy crowds. Englischer Garten 
The Englischer Garten, or English Garden, is a great place to escape from the chaos of the city, or even the chaos of Oktoberfest if you've been celebrating. It's among the top urban parks in the world, and takes up a space that's twice as big as Central Park in New York and Hyde Park in London. It was built in 1789 and has served as the ultimate green space for Munich ever since. It starts at the banks of the Isar River and extends north of the Munich residence for 370 hectares. One of the things you should check out in the park is the Chinese Beer Garden, though be warned it's a pretty popular spot so it can be crowded. There's also a really cool Japanese tea house that was built for the 1972 Olympics. The most surprising aspect of the English gardens, however, is the option for surfing. There's a man-made river called the Eisbach that has a powerful current flowing through it. That means there's a static wave on it that people can easily surf on. Not bad for a park in the middle of the city. And another bit of warning, it's legal for people to sunbathe in the nude. So don't be surprised if you come across some natives or even tourists catching some rays in their birthday suits. Victuals Market this market, open every day, is often referred to as the stomach of the city. Not surprisingly, it was originally a farmer's market when it was started up in the 18th century. But over the years, it's grown in size drastically and now boasts six major sections with more than 100 individual produce stands. So you'll be able to shop for any groceries you might need during your stay. There's also a cool beer garden in the shade where you can grab a lager and watch people going by. And every month, a different beer from one of the many local breweries is featured. Of course, like any great market, there's also plenty to eat while you walk around. The Munchner Soupenkuk is a soup spot that all the locals adore. You can grab your fill of soups, sausage, and sauerkraut while you're there, and there's even waitstaff service if you sit at particular tables. You'll also want to check out and probably grab a picture next to the Maypole. It looks over the market, and its blue and white stripes make it hard to miss. It's actually one of 30 similar ones placed around Munich. On the 1st of May each year, the locals throw celebrations at the Maypoles that, among other things, market the tapping of a new official beer. The Maypoles originated in medieval times when a prize would be placed on top and whoever was able to climb up without shoes on would get to keep it. Check out some amazing neighborhoods. While the biggest tourist attractions are certainly worth checking out, you might also be looking for a more off-the-beaten-path time in Munich. If so, try hopping around some of the cooler neighborhoods around the city. Schwabing is great if you're looking for artistic qualities, while you can get the young and vibrant student culture in the Maxvorstadt neighborhood. And Heidhausen is laid back and charming as well. All these hoods are great for grabbing some authentic food and drinks, doing some local shopping, and getting in your 10,000 steps. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever been to Munich? Do you think you'll ever go? Let us know in the comment section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Viewcation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.